So I've always been really into street art, where they're using something in the environment or the city as a part of the art, um, but I never knew how to paint. That's the reason I used paper cutouts. I thought I could do the same kind of collage art with uh, paper and photography. I guess a good way to explain it is like, you know when you're a kid and you're like, you do the game where you look at the clouds and you're like, that kind of looks like a dinosaur or that kind of looks like a spaceship. That's kind of what I try to do just walking around um, the city. Just kind of like always walking around, daydreaming, try not to run into poles and crash my car. <laughs> The first one that got a lot of traction was the Space Needle UFO one because it was just such an iconic thing. I just recently did a, one with Big Bird. That one did really well. I did one with a person who's like puking. <laughs> I love Chihuly. I think the museum is amazing and it's not a knock on them, but I've always just thought it looked like a big like puke. I would say my top favorite would be probably just be the Russell Wilson elevator because it went so viral. I like to whenever I can be humorous with my art. Today we're gonna do Mario Kart. So I'll put Mario Kart in my computer and then cut it out in Photoshop. Then I'll, that's how you get the file ready for the cutting machine. It's a program and you basically load in your image, it scans all the lines and then it'll do like a perfect cut for you. Perfect cut. People really love when it's like, you know, you take something in pop culture you love with a landmark in the city they love. And I think that's one reason people really respond to it because it's helping them see the city in a different way. You're just kind of like a visual DJ, you know, you're just like taking two different things and you're creating something new. You're doing like, you know, it's like a mashup, a city mashup. Using the paper and the hand as opposed to just photoshopping things gives it a human element that I think people really respond to. It's a little more childlike and not as digital and forced. It really is sort of empowering when you think something in your head and you think it's gonna do a certain thing and affect people and then you do it and it does. It's like, man, what else can we do here? The internet can be a toxic place and really negative and to do something that's just makes people happy feels really good.